Marco Rivera is a 20-year-old who has shown he is not afraid to use violence to get what he wants. Tonight he's on the run, a fugitive from an Albuquerque halfway house intended to get violent juvenile offenders and others ready for release. He's another kid who did not honor the honor system. Here's News 13's Nancy Laughlin. Dick Rivera was there because he and three other juveniles, all armed with knives or guns, invaded a home, tied up the homeowner, stole his money and his car. He was ordered locked up until he was 21, but he didn't wait. It doesn't look like a place for violent offenders. No bars on the windows, no fences around the building. But some very violent young offenders live in this building near I-25 in Comanche. Offenders like 20-year-old Marco Rivera of Clovis. In 2009, after he was convicted of aggravated assault with a deadly weapon, aggravated burglary and car theft, he was sentenced to the state juvenile lockup, YDDC. Under state law, he'll automatically go free when he's 21. His mandatory release date is in January. So with just four months remaining in his sentence, he was recently moved to the reintegration center. Offenders there are released into the community to go to school or work during the day, then come back at night. When we have their mandatory release date and we have to release them, we're not just kicking kids out the door and saying good luck out there. Instead, we're doing a transition and giving kids some life skills to be able to get back into the community. It's based on an honor system. CYFD trusts the young offenders to return each night. Revere went to school yesterday, then took off. Now police statewide are looking for him, and they consider him armed and dangerous. CYFD officials say it is time for a new look at tightening and toughening the juvenile justice system they inherited. We're looking at the entire system from top to bottom. If there are changes that we can propose making, we, we will propose them at some point. Now, as far as Rivera, they think he may be on his way to Clovis, where he's from. If they find him, he will stay locked up until he's 21. Back to you. All right, Nancy, a spokesman for CYFD says these kinds of walkaways actually happen fairly frequently, but usually with nonviolent offenders.